My name is Patricia, I'm an artist, and I'm going to show you how to draw a realistic chair. So first we'll do a chair from the side. Here's the back of the chair. Notice how it's just, you know, a rectangle, but as this side is closer to us, so the line's a little bit longer for perspective purposes. And notice how my lines are. I've got two parallel lines, but the one closest to us is a little bit longer. And then putting some rectangles in here for the side of the chair, and then the legs. And remember when you put a chair together, it has four legs. And here I did a straight line at the bottom, but it's actually a little bit curved. Because the bottom is usually round, or it might be square. If it is square, you could do two straight lines. And then here, this back leg is going to be a little bit shorter. And then again, behind here, you have a fourth leg, also shorter. And then you can put... bars in between the back legs because they connect the legs together for more so that it's a stronger chair for more strength so the chair lasts a long time then here you know you can put a cushion on the chair if you'd like but basically when you're drawing chairs most of them are all angles Put some stripes here or you know what let's just keep the cushion aspect in it all right so there is a realistic chair now if you're doing it straight, if you're looking straight at the chair, it's going to be more something like this. Again, the front of the chair, the line's going to be a little bit longer because it's closer to you. And the legs that are closer to you are going to be longer. And that's how you can show the perspective. And this is a line to connect the uh, legs. And here you can do just spindles on the chair. And so there you go. There are two realistic chairs. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.